give a brief synopsis of the film. Mm. I would describe the movie as a mystery, a musical, an action adventure, a comedy, and I would say every fan should go see it, but also everyone in the world. <laughs> oh, me too. Um, I would say another thing that the, we tried to do with the movie was um, have each character face a serious identity crisis, like what makes them them, and then they're not sure if how they feel about that anymore. Um, so each character is kind of the hero of the movie in their eyes. They all think they're the hero of the movie, and they all go through a pretty big emotional journey. Yeah, I'd say it, the movie is it's about the the Belchers on a big adventure that's still at home, close to home, and it's it's as it's as big as we could make while still staying within the show. And that's uh, without giving anything else away. That's it. Adapting a movie from a TV series um, is something that you should only do if you love movies. Uh, if you are making your TV show and you just love episodic television uh, and movies don't interest you that much, then I wouldn't recommend this. Um, this is a game to be played for people who love both um, and who really want to, um, when you're doing a TV show, to do the best TV show you can do, and when you're making the movie, to really make it a movie. Um, and we had not zero experience doing this, um, but a lot of enthusiasm for the form. We really like movies, and so we were game. So it was what's the most diffi the adapting, difficult? Adapting, how to adapt. The challenge of making, of adapting. Yeah, um, do you want to answer? Uh, I mean, I would say when we were adapting the show into a movie, we wanted everyone to be happy with it. We, we, we wanted us to be happy with it. We wanted the fans who um, have stuck with us to be happy with it. And we wanted to bring in new people that had never seen the show and still could be tickled by it. So we it was a balance of like everything that we, and hopefully the fans love about the show. But um, yeah, fresh eyes, and it still it still speaks to people. And luckily, like we we uh, our characters help us with that. It's all pretty, um, and we do that with every episode. We ever you know we should be able to come in on the show and have never seen it before and enjoy it. So we had good like building materials, um, and I hope it worked. I think uh, a big challenge of making this movie was was just making sure that. Fans would be happy to go pay for a movie ticket to see it on the big screen. So that was at the forefront of our minds from the start. Was we wanted this to be a big screen event um, and different from what people see at home on TV. And and also importantly, we wanted to you know. And what we've been really looking forward to is for fans to be able to see this in a crowd amongst other you know because it's a show we might have millions of viewers on Sundays but it's only in groups of three or four or five, you know? And so this is a, so we always had that in mind that this would be an opportunity to have hundreds of people watching it together in a group. And so we, that was just a challenge is just to make sure we, we made it worthwhile to have it on the big screen. You know, it's hard to say, and we always, we, we it makes us nervous to, to analyze the reasons for the show's longevity because you don't want to look too closely at that one that's a very that's a very lucky break we caught um, and not a not every show is as lucky um, we we were always true to these characters um, we we knew who they were right from the beginning and we we try to um, do character driven comedy and so I think you can't help but simply say, the characters connected. They, the audiences felt some kinship or fondness towards one or all of the characters, uh, and you wanted to see them again. You wanted to see them do uh, uh, go through the paces of another episode, or you just wanted to hear 
a turn of phrase, the way they said something. And that's character-driven storytelling. And it's, you know, boy, it's, it's, it's really scary to start because no one knows those characters and you're just like a person at a party trying to be funny and hoping everyone laughs and, you know, it doesn't always work. But once you've got enough people who know your characters uh, on a, on a, you know, a week-to-week -week basis on a TV show, um, it can be uh, quite a relationship. And we're, we're really lucky to, to have built on that uh, for this long. Uh, and, we, and we just appreciate that the fans were there, that they that this is what they wanted to, to take into their homes. Um, I think maybe another reason the show has lasted so long is that the, the cast, the family cast, and Larry Murphy are so joyful to be around, and you just want to spend time with them. Um, and I also think that in the when we're breaking stories, we use a lot of um, real life stories. We mix a lot of our real lives in here, and so it's actually a lot of our little pieces of our soul in this show. And I think maybe it's just hopefully we people are out there and they're like, oh, it's, you know, I've gone through that or whatever, and it connects with people in that way, and so it keeps the show, the humanity of the show, can keep going and not feel stale. Yeah, and I, th I think I think obviously. A big part of the longevity of the characters and you know the audience is relating to them um, but I, I also think and to these two who, who sort of developed the show the just the simplicity of the story of this struggling family with a business uh, family workplace comedy it, it and in this little town was it's just something where just so many stories can come out of it and and it, as it's built through the seasons you know we've got the school and the wonder wharf and and then so many of these great secondary characters that it, it it's always fresh and you can just keep you know bringing other characters in too and it's it, and they're always coming back and so it's it's just a very large canvas basically that you can just keep going and so hopefully we can keep making stories yeah it's also fair to say i think just really quickly to, to add to that the there, there, there's a particular kind of optimism that the characters express routinely through not so much in words, but just in their actions. They're, they're, they seem to face life with a kind of a, um, a, a kind of a, I don't know, something that I think people appreciate, and um, I think that's probably in there too. I think maybe um, it's a, you know, to the extent that it's a little bit of a comfort show. I suspect. It's optimism is part of what's comforting. You don't need to know anything to go see this movie. But let me tell you, you're, as Nora said recently, your girlfriend's going to ask you to go and you haven't seen the movie and you're afraid. You're thinking, I don't know, I don't know anything about it. doesn't matter. Or your kids are going to want to go and you haven't seen the series. doesn't matter. You're going to be fine. You don't need to know anything. We've designed it that way. We don't even want you to try to do homework. Just go. Just go and tell us if we were right afterwards. Call us. <laughs> I think if we've done a good job, people don't need to know anything going into it. I th and I think, and I, I am comforted by the fact that we have this cast. So I'm always talking about the cast, and I feel like you can just fall right into this cast, and you're like, I will spend 90 minutes with these people because they are so, you know, they're just delightful to be around. Ideally. Yeah, I, I. I... I don't think there's anything. If you if you haven't seen the series, you're gonna you're gonna pick up everything you need to know in the first five minutes. It's it's about a family running a burger joint um, on the east coast of the U.S. and pretty much if you get that in the first five minutes and then you're fine. I hope personally that audiences um, really um, take take away from the film what's what's really going on. There's, there's a huge action adventure and there are big stakes, but really what we're doing is telling the story of, of a family, uh, in particular of a marriage. Uh, and I hope if, you know, there are folks out there who recognize their own struggle in, in what this family is going through, not the life and death stuff and the chases and the all of that, but, but really this, this family that's facing the possibility that they might lose their restaurant. That's happening right now. Obviously, we all know it's happening uh, even more than it already was happening all the time. Uh, and I guess I hope that um, if there's some Bob out there who recognizes themselves in Bob, that they also recognize their Linda. 
um, and are able to see that we, uh, those of us that glom on to someone else, whether you get married and have a family or whether you're just together for a while, there's almost always a reason and they're almost, there's almost always something that they allow you to do that you wouldn't have been able to do yourself. So that's one of the things, uh, not to get too treacly, but I hope um, that, that, that somebody is sitting in the theater watching this and they turn to the person next to them and they say, well, you kind of, we kind of, this is a little bit, uh, that would be nice, that would make me feel good. That's a really good answer. Yeah, I like that, yeah, I can follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.